Hey there, Zakar Solanki. I've tried to put together a video of our recent trip to Turkey. This is just a compilation of videos that I shot on my phone. Never intended to make a video out of this, but the given time I had at hand, I thought why not give it a try. From the visa to the flight tickets, we hit several roadblocks, but eventually made it to the trip. I can probably make another video for this. The Bangalore airport looked deserted, so did the check-in counters. It still took us about 30 minutes for check-in as the airline staff weren't aware of certain travel restrictions in place. The Bangalore Abu Dhabi flight was literally empty. We had a good 4-hour transit in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we couldn't find a good place to sit and relax. Uh, so we probably thought, you know, sitting at the lounge was a better option. So we ended up going there for about 2 hours. The Abu Dhabi Istanbul flight to a surprise was completely packed. We landed on time at Istanbul International Airport at 10 past 2. The airport was massive. It took us a good 25-30 uh, minutes time to uh, get to our immigration counters. In about 30 minutes, we cleared immigration and also collected our checked-in luggage. Uh, one of us picked a SIM card from the airport which actually costed us a bomb. But we had to do this because we had a self-drive car in our hands and we wanted GPS. So after a thorough check of our fully insured car, we filled some gas and headed to Taksim Square. It was freezing outside. We checked in and grabbed some coffee at the hotel. Perhaps the most bustling street in Istanbul, the famous Istiklal Street. Seemed a little deserted because of the COVID restrictions. You just cannot miss the Turkish delights there, especially the baklava, the most iconic Turkish sweet you'll ever find. This is the famous Sultan Ahmed Mosque, also known as the Blue Mosque otherwise. The Blue Mosque is going through extensive renovation work. You won't find it in its full glory. You'll find a lot of scaffold and lights placed all around. It definitely did not live up to its expectations. The world famous Hagia Sophia Museum in Istanbul 
originally founded as a cathedral, has been turned back into a mosque. Built 1500 years ago as an Orthodox Christian cathedral, Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque after the Ottoman conquest in 1453. In 1934, it became a museum and is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We grabbed some lunch and spent some time at the Kala Tatawa. We then booked a Bosphorus boat ride in the evening. The Bosphorus boat ride usually includes pick up and drop and also as a meal service. But if you are a vegetarian, you will hardly find any options. The iconic bridge which connects Asia to Europe. We personally found the Bosphorus boat ride a little boring compared to all the other places we visited in the past two days. We soon called it a night and grabbed some dinner as we had to head to Ankara early next morning.